Okay, so now and welcome back. So in this video or in these uh, in these few videos, uh, probably I don't know five, four, five videos. Probably about about five to ten videos. Probably I don't know. Probably less than that. Let's see. We are going to be talking about polynomials and uh, well, basically. Um, polynomials are are basically some idea that 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 come from that that basically stem from the very basics of algebra, meaning that first you have those variables and then you put that 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 those variables together and then you and then the whole concept of algebra comes together and then you have. Uh, um, basically then let's say that for example you have a variable you have a variable a for example and then if you put if you if you put a variable with with a constant you will get for example 2 times a or 2a now this a could represent anything and then when when you when you when you multiply a constant by that variable the the meaning of that basically basically changes of course and then um, and then you can also make make some other changes to, to your variable meaning that you can raise it to the first power second power and so on and so forth so so for example let's say that to a cube and basically these are all the different stages that you can these are and 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 i should say that basically you start used you, you could you could say that you start with a with a simple uh, with a simple constant and then you can from this from the concept of a constant you 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 can move to a variable and then make some changes to a to the variable for example multiply by some constant and then uh, raise that variable to some power okay for example uh, and and then this becomes a um, this becomes a this becomes basically to a cube uh, two a cube depending on the on the meaning of three and a and so on and so forth two a cube can have some meaning it's it's an abstract representation of some concept of any concept it could be really and then when you put these such terms together you will get a polynomial meaning that you have for example two a cube for plus three a squared plus for example i don't know something like 5a plus 5 then this thing over here which is basically made 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 up of these little these these little simple building blocks here you have these building blocks over here uh, and as the, this 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 collection of these simple build, building blocks is called a polynomial and there are of course there is there is uh, i mean polynomials have they have, have have their own terminology and vocabulary so you need to be a little bit familiar with that so there is for example linear polynomials quadratic polynomials and third degree polynomials fourth degree polynomials and so on and so forth and then there is also the idea of the graphical representation of polynomials and uh, but but basically the the idea of polynomials is is deeply rooted in mathematics and it's it's deeply connected to everything in mathematics meaning that um, meaning that you take polynomials out algebra will be will be will go will will go down the drain um, um, equations go down the drain and everything just falls apart it's just a very very important part of mathematics it keeps everything kind of holds everything together very fundamental and basic concept in mathematics so and basically in these few videos that we are going to spend on polynomials there is not much there is probably not much that you already don't know about polynomials but um, it turns out that um, 
as it turns out these basic concepts are always very 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 crucially important meaning that the reason why um, we some of us don't really some of us don't understand the concept of the concepts basically laid out in calculus the reason for that is that we have not understood for example the meaning of the the, the concepts of numbers for example very simple things or the or the operations that are done on numbers or basically algebra or ratios or proportions and things like that and then well of course when you don't when you haven't um, really comprehended those basic concepts then of course it's not possible to understand the calculus uh, it's not it's not really possible to get to understand calculus so now i'm going to start from the very basics of polynomials and uh, and we will do a couple of simple things in in polynomials here so so basically um, um, we basically um, basically a polynomial is is usually is usually denoted as p for example p of x so so that 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 what that means is that this is a polynomial And before I before I even start, I should of course I should of course give you a definition for polynomials. But at this time, I really cannot give you a good definition for for polynomials. We will we will we will do that later once we have once we have more information. At right now, I I, I really cannot give you a good definition for polyn. But 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 we will get i mean we will get more familiar with the with the overall concept of of polynomials so so basically a polynomial is usually denoted by some by some notation like for example p of x and what that means is that for example this thing over here could mean a polynomial in variable x in variable x and this could, for example, be equal to, for example, 5x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 5, for example. Okay. <coughs> so, and then, and then there is the, there is a concept called the degree of the polynomial. The degree of the polynomial. And what that is, is that basically that's the highest power of, 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 for example, the highest power of x in this polynomial, which is equal to, which is 3 over here, is actually called the degree of this, of this polynomial. So over here, the degree, the degree is, the degree is actually 3. That's the highest power of the variable in this polynomial. <coughs> or for example, if you have some, polynomial like for example 4x plus 2 this is your variable and the degree and the highest power of the variable over here is 1 so this is a a polynomial polynomial in variable x in variable x of degree 1 okay <coughs> And um, and likewise, for example, you could have, for example, something like seven u raised to the power six, for example, minus three halves uh, u raised to the power four plus four u squared minus plus u, for example, minus eight. This is a polynomial in. This 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 thing over here is a is a polynomial. Is a polynomial in variable. In the variable. 
in the variable u of degree of degree 6 basically okay so these are basically some definitions that we need to know and some vocabulary that we need to know now if the degree of a polynomial is 1 if the degree of polynomial is 1 we call it a linear polynomial we call it a linear polynomial and as as some as an example for that you could say for example as an example you could say 2x minus 3 that's a that's a linear polynomial because it's of it's it's of degree 1 and um, <clears throat> and then if the if the if the if the degree this is basically one if the degree of a polynomial is two then that polynomial is basically called quadratic and an example for a quadratic polynomial would be equal to for example 2x plus 5 for example minus x squared that's a quadratic polynomial and the reason you call it quadratic is because the degree is equal to 2 and uh, And basically, then, basically, if you want to, if you want to, a general way to represent quadratic, quadratic polynomials. So generally, basically, quadratic polynomials, polynomials are written as are, can be, can be expressed as can be expressed as as a x squared plus b x plus c um, where where basically a b and c are real numbers belong to the set of real numbers and a is not equal to zero if a is equal to zero then um, then basically this whole term goes to zero and then you will have a first degree polynomial which is which is not quadratic anymore and basically that is that and then and then there is also there is also the the, the concept of a of a polynomial with degree with degree three basically which is called the cubic polynomial a cubic polynomial for as an example for a cubic polynomial you could have for example 2 minus x cubed this is a cubic polynomial and the general form and a general form for these cubic polynomials is a x raised to the power 3 plus b raised to the power x squared plus c x plus d where <coughs> where a b c and d belong to the set of real numbers and a is not equal to zero okay so that is that now there are there are also some concepts like for example the value of, of a polynomial at some at some uh, the value of a polynomial at some number for example so let's say that you have a polynomial let's say that it is p of x and and your polynomial is x squared minus 3x minus 4 these are simple concepts but you need to be familiar with them so you have this polynomial over here x squared minus 3x minus 4 now if you put if you set x is equal to 2 for example then p of 2 is going to be equal to 2 squared minus 3 times 2 minus 4 which is equal to 4 minus 6 minus 4 and that's equal to minus 10 plus 4 is equal to minus 6 negative 6. so so we say that negative 6 is the value of the polynomial at x is equal to 2 or p of 2 is equal to negative 6. Um, or 
basically more generally you can say that if p of x is a if p of x is a polynomial in x uh, and and so any say polynomial is p of x is is a is a is a is a, is a polynomial in x polynomial in x and k is some number is is some real number belongs to the set of real numbers then the value by uh, then the value by replacing the value of by replace by replacing basically x by k is basically called the value of the value of the value of p of x at x is equal to k at x is equal to k so that's that so so that value is called the value of p of x at x is equal to k and that you and and then on that value you obtain by by replacing x uh, by k in your polynomial for example over here as you saw we said that basically p of x is equal to this to this polynomial and 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 now let's say that your k here is is positive 2 okay so now the value of of p of x at 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 x is equal to 2 is equal to negative 6 that's basically a simple concept over here now um now there is a there is a there is an important there is an important thing over here that uh, we need to pay attention to and that is basically the the zero of a polynomial zero of a polynomial okay so zero of a polynomial